y'all, it's TNT, and I'm here with the all new video. So today we're gonna focus on all the different places you can eat here on campus at UCLA. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of some of the dining halls and some other eateries. So let's get it started. I'm about to use so many swipes today, but it's cool because it's the last week of school, and this is the last time that I will be living on campus, and I wanted to do this video for y'all before I moved out. So let's get started. place we're gonna start at is called Hedrick Study or the study aka the study at Hedrick and basically Hedrick Study is open all day all the way to 2 a.m. which is the latest place that stays open on campus where you can eat so there's pizza there's um, you can create your own pizza create your own sandwiches pastries coffee um, create your own juice so let's go take a look The study at Hedrick consists of some really cool features such as the juice bar, where you can create your own juice. My favorite combination is mango and pineapples. There's also a coffee and tea bar where you can choose between different types of coffees and teas. You can even get it iced if you want. Along with your coffee and tea, you can get a pastry or a bagel. My favorite part about the study is the create your own pizza option. Here you can choose between different sauces, cheeses, toppings, and in addition, you can get chips and a drink with your pizza. the study you can choose to dine in or dine out. The study has a 24-hour study space and free Wi-Fi. I hope you're not too full because we still have a long way to go on our dining hall tour here at UCLA. Next is Feast at Reber. first stop on this dining hall tour. So let me explain the difference between a dining hall and other eateries on campus. The dining hall, when you swipe in or you pay to get in, you actually sit inside of the dining hall and it's all you can eat. You can eat as much as you want. You can get up to 25 plates, however much you want until they close. So our first stop is Feast at Reaver, which is a pan-Asian eatery. So there's all different types of food from um, Asia. and. Feast actually has really cool themed nights. Like sometimes there's a K-pop night and everybody dresses up and we come out and basically turn up and have some good food. So let's check it out. Most dining halls are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Here at Feast and all other dining halls, you can have the option of dessert during lunch or dinner. Our dining halls are also vegan and vegetarian friendly, so there's plenty of options for everyone.
I wish I told myself to slow down because we still have a long way to go. Next is the Bruin Plate Restaurant. So stop number two on our dining hall tour is a dining hall called Bruin Plate, also known as B Plate. So B Plate is where there's lots of healthy food and like, I don't want to say small portions, but basically if you're trying to watch your figure, watch your weight, or if you just want to be healthy, I definitely recommend coming to Br um, B Plate. It's always crowded like during January when everybody makes that New Year's resolution to eat healthy. There's so many people here, but this um, place has like so much good food. So let's go take a look at Bruin Plate. When you first enter Bruin Plate, the first thing you see on the right hand side is a various selection of fruits. As I stated earlier, here at B Plate, the main focus is on nutrition. According to UCLA, the produce and meats at this dining hall come from nearby farms. This will explain the fresh taste. All dining halls also have cereal available during both breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This also includes a variety of milk options such as soy or non-fat. My personal favorite part about Bruin Plate is the salad bar. I was clearly enjoying that fruit a little too much. Let's head on over to Dinev. So our third stop on a dining hall tour is Dinev. So this dining hall has all types of different foods. I would describe it as American food, but uh, cheeseburgers, pizza, burritos, um, lots of pastries, cookies, ice cream. Basically, if you're trying to be unhealthy, slide over to Dinev. This is where you'll get your freshman 15 at. So let's go take a look. So we're about to go ham. 
on this food. Let's do this. This particular dining hall in Deneb is that at 8 o'clock when it closes, it reopens at 9 o'clock and it's called Late Night Deneb. And you get all types of things like french fries, chicken tenders, chicken wings, pizza, um, carne asada fries, um, mozzarella sticks. The list goes on and on, milkshakes. But basically that's what's really cool about this dining hall. And Late Night is open until midnight so you can just swing on by, get something to go, you can eat it here or you can take it out. So. Yeah. So our fourth stop on this dining hall tour is our last dining hall actually, which is Covell. So Covell, I don't know how to describe it, maybe as European type food, but there's pasta all the time, pizza all the time, Caesar salad, um, french fries, Mediterranean food, and a lot of other good stuff. So let's take a look. My favorite option at Covell is the freshly made pizza, cooked on a wood fire pizza oven. In addition to your pizza, you can also enjoy some freshly made Caesar salad or Italian salad. Covell also has a really cool french fry bar with various selection of fries such as sweet potato or curly. To be honest, I was stuffed at this point. So luckily this was our last dining hall. But let's check out some other eateries on the hill. Next stop is the Bruin Cafe, also known as B-Caf. Here at B-Caf, you have the option to choose between salads, soups, and other dinners that rotate on a daily basis. B-Calf specializes in both cold cut and toasted sandwiches. If you're in a rush, you can quickly select from pre-made sandwiches, wraps, and salads. Decaf also has a coffee and tea bar with a variety of pastries. My favorite part is the smoothie bar, where you can choose from a variety of smoothies and other blended drinks. We're almost done. Our next stop is Cafe 1919. Cafe 1919 specializes in authentic Italian cuisine. This includes a variety of gourmet pizzas, paninis, and salads. My favorite is the gelato bar. Gelato is available in a variety of flavors. Our next and last stop is an eatery called Rendezvous. 
Rendezvous specializes in both Latin and Asian dishes. Here on the Latin side, you can create your own burrito, bowl, or tacos. side that specializes in Asian dishes, my favorite is to select a combo where you can choose between chow mein and lo mein, orange chicken and other options. In addition to all of this good food, you also have the option of purchasing a boba tea. Boba comes in a variety of flavors as well. today's video we went all around campus on the hill and got so much food y'all don't understand how stuffed I am but thank you for watching please make sure you like comment and subscribe it's been TNT creations signing off